smoke. I knew from where Arno said I'd find his crew. That looks like the foreman Arno mentioned. Stay with me. I should check in with him. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arno sent me. I'm not, not now. Uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. How many are still down there? Corvent. How many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Gotta find those two miners. Quick. One of them doesn't look too good. I think I'm starting to see things. Is that a Nora? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. Should still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find one to block in the shaft. I don't know what's going on. Something might bring the mine down on top of me. Almost there! <sighs> Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on the track. I blast with the blockage. Maybe I can swim past on the list.
them. Gotta find a way out of this room. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. There's the explosives up on the track. Just need to get them across somehow. Got its attention. Let's go check on those miners. She's so fast. We don't know that. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. Yep. 
I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. And it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Stock up on some food before I head back out. Oh, see what else Elder's cooking up. Ah, savior! Over here! Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure Olvan's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn. It's... <laughs> It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look. If you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, Maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. offering salvage contracts. The Bristleback, or the Falls. Go check it out. It looks like it dipped. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up.
old mine. And a lot of broken trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? How? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. before I can look around. Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. <coughs> There's a lot of smoke. There's a lot of blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. It's addressed to Oland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Well, they must have gotten greedy. They're blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think. That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. Some kind of outpost. The weapon where Hugal is keeping our machines. We're under attack!
for you! Drawbridge. Might be my way across. Looks like there are a couple of witches. No rope attached to the bridge. further in. What if Olven's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. I've heard of your adventure. Sorry, if you need shard. So, you've returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Olfant. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olfant here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the Savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. 
You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent, all for a few extra shards. And that's not the only mine you've been squeezing. Corvin's crew would have drowned if it weren't for Aloy. <laughs> I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The Bristlebacks, the mine. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? Oh, well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched out forged dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no. don't want you, no. don't need you! No. Down with all that! <laughs> 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 Get off me! Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, you had it coming. Here. Please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. At the embassy, Regala's rebels were riding bristlebacks. And if they attacked from the north, they... She cleared out the machines. I think it ain't It's you, the machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing, and it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. You gotta move! More machines on their way. Get to safety! I'll handle the rest! 
Go, Lakasha. I'll help the Nora. Those people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep the for us them. Better check on the refugees. Get it, the show's over. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation... This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I... Don't let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation, if he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days. Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Kasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Not 
water must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. Broken bridge. I may be able to make the jump to the other side. There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. Machines. Savon must have snuck past them. I'm gonna have to take them out! Water looks deep enough down below. Could be a quick way down. That's all of them. Savoir. In pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savoir. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> Must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. My people will find their home. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The truth, I love me. The true sun before me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. Gotta get over to that stormbird. Grab its heart. A stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything?
The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Talland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? You... Savahar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out we won't let you pass Asaram. if you choose bloodshed that's on your conscience ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be okay boys you heard her get your consciences ready hold on now Tolland. you again listen i'm all out of patience here i clipped that stormbird's wings the salvage is mine I don't care who gets in my way. Nora savages or shadow cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. You sure you want to do that, Tolland? You know who I am. What makes you think a single Osram lunkhead can take me down? I've got four guys. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, blast it. Okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savalhar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird Heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. 
What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. There. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well... I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. It's as good a place to start as any. Sure, this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Lost the trail. 
There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. Someone set up a lookout down here. The runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? Traylon's here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. can make use of this. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he's lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard we go in fast and loud. Connor was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. We may have lost Meridian for now. There! Maybe oh. I'll again someday. No. 
Oh no! Someone out there? And that takes care of that. It sounds like there's more Eclipse beyond the Daunt. If this Rayad was their only link to them, he might have a focus. He could tell me where they are. I'm guessing that's Rayad. The trail must have been his. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new Eclipse Empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, out past Baron Light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conver's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But the other officers, they may not be convinced by your words alone. If they need proof, show them that. And tell them this man risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to the right people. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can, but you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. Looks like some kind of dig site. What's going on here?
These are the coordinates Vesra gave his henchmen. I don't think I can open these doors from here. Whoever's in these ruins doesn't want any visitors. Those machines look like they've been... You better be careful. Eclipse. I need to get into those ruins and find out what they're up to. Quiet. Quiet while it lasted. Man down. The next side is under attack. That's all of them. No, I need to get into these ruins. Stop whatever this Vesra's doing. Hey! I can help you get in. Let's talk. It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. <sighs> Eclipse, bastards. Good riddance! So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen. If you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. The leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. That sounds bad. You should probably head back. And miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. Some battle the old ones fought here. this fortress. 
we struck the foundation of our empire. We, we privileged few, few will rule over thousands. I don't know if I time it right. Now for their leader. Those speakers have to be connected no to a power source somewhere. By the Probably inside that big structure. Free, free to conquer. conquer. Prisoners. An outlander? I gotta let them Who out. Is she? Quick. Help us! Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. Blessed thanks! Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. But what will you do? Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death! Sure. For the bad guys. All of you, find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, to take care of Vesra. By mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. <sighs> the savior of Marie. How kind of you. Deliver Shut you. up, Vesra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. For me? That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out, fast. harder for that. Not with this. We'll both be gone in an instant. You just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. 
the others. I, I told them to hide. Are, are they... Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plainsong. Thanks, Yef. Listen, sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades. Said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? I don't know. But I intend to find out. It looks like Vezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look. Loyal moment. Eclipse. Find out if there's any if more you're seeing this. to worry about. It means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. If I take them out first, which I did. this for Vesra. He dreamed big. Guess that's all I need to know. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. What did you find? Vesra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. I can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you, but if you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plainsong. I hope you make it there. told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Oh. That's a lot of data. <laughs> Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. I already took care of the machines at the dig site. That's amazing! 
we'll resume our dig as soon as we can. Though, knowing this crew, it'll take forever for us to move. <laughs> Let's see those good-for-nothing charcoal burners try to charge me hazard pay now. I'll come back as soon as I find out more about this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. can help me find something down here. Check it out. These are the coordinates I got from the console I found. Which means there should be another one somewhere around here. The console has to be somewhere inside these ruins. The place looks like some sort of old defensive outpost.
Another console. needs our security key to get the mobile cover prototype out of here. Get to the console and get it out of here! We have a second enemy contact incoming! Another Horus! So we'll call it the goddamn airstrike! Another access key that never got to this prototype. There's coordinates for a third one nearby. Maybe I can find it. Coordinates I found lead here. There's got to be another one of those consoles around.
I come. This place looks familiar. Looks like a facility used to be here. This place got hit hard. The vault mentioned in the recordings should be in here somewhere. We just have to follow the coordinates. to the vault. This looks promising. This was Hernan. This must be the vault mentioned in the data I found. I should be able to access it. Priority keys detected. Access granted. I don't think. Anyone's gonna make it. Not sure which will get me first. The airstrike or the Horus. Another sad ending. At least I have the prototype now. I might even be able to make something out of it if I use the data on that drive Gendos found. I wanna know what happened here. You've returned. You 
found something, didn't you? Come now, don't just keep it to yourself. It's, um, difficult to explain. Please, I... I just want to understand as much as I can. Definitely not a tray cover. The Old Ones fought a massive battle here against machines. Some fled, but others stayed behind to try to salvage this, to help others carry on the fight. Did they survive? So, they failed. It made it into the hands of the most renowned warrior in the Sundom, did it not? And every item we recover will be used to ensure their memory lives on. I didn't see any machines at the dig site, so yes, I suppose that is true. I'll need that tray and your workbench. I'll have to tinker with this to turn it into something I can use. Of course, Savior. It's the least we can do. May the sun light your way, as you have illuminated ours. Let's take a look at this thing. Wait to the scholar. Let's hear about this. We'll Feels go right. down in the history Time books. To test it out. What do you need? A squad of Tanakas holed up in the cave to the south. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm headed there to offer help. But with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you come with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spirit at my side. Isn't there someone in Plainsong who can go with you? Not with Tanakh rebels prowling our borders. No one wants to get involved. I'll do what I can. Good. I'm headed to their camp now. Please, follow. Why are you willing to help these Tanakhs if other Utara won't? I've dealt with the Tanakh really before. Taking I don't an fear offer them. Of help is an insult. Tanakh are by nature unpredictable. Anything is possible. Almost there. The squad is camped inside. You there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. A long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help, if you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaro. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed-out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What do we got to lose? What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at Riverwatch. A huge cache of war spoils up there. 
left over from the route. The route? When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of Riverwatch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. The ruin is this way. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is... That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Stop saying that! Hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. We'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the Outlander camp down the road. Ugh. Something wrong? I hate getting wet. Tough as a Ravager, this one. I heard that. We're here. The entrance should be right under that arch. Let's check around the side. Let's do this then. Machine. I'm going to No. Aloy's on point. Follow her. That's the last of them. I had that. Give credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Grab the supplies for Sakura while I'm poking around in here. Okay, a supply cache should be at the top of the tower. But how to.
these are the supplies? Won't last them very long. Ugh, I can't leave that kid alone for a second. Jax and Sakura are in trouble. I gotta catch up to them. and take down those machines. Didn't want to leave all the fun to us, I see. Done. I better check on Jackson Sakura. Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. There was supposed to be more. Enough for. It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. Speak the truth. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be alright without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind! He'll be safe in Plainsong, and the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The Cores won't like it. 
But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Korra wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura, I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They will be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. What do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with an Utaru thrush? What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. Karja Huntress. Sounds like someone I know. If you hunt Southwest. the card to hunt us. I don't know what's promised. Sunhawk Talana Kane Padish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Renma. 
the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. So this battlefield... You said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Glooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but... In a this is the field. Where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. There are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadas was supposed to be alone. Why were Osirum here? Light prints. Not Osirum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. There is a cut. Aru. What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's oh, ask him. Let me guess. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone. Clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here poking around the old battlefield, wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him, old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, 
but others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison, or a Karzer graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amatis. Lead on. You mentioned Amatis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> the ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. A shell snapper. I haven't seen us yet. We can use that. Off and flush. Just like old. Gotta say, feels good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. It's a dead end. I see what was left by an awesome. <laughs> Delving at a dam. Sounds like someone I know. It says he's moving on. Huh. I wonder where to. Talana, I think I found something. In the rubble. What is it? What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. The note ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? I have a kind of base in the mountains north of here. There's a passage through it that will get us to the other side. Us? You know, Hawk and Thrush. We'll find your friend together. Head to the western outskirts of Plainsong. There's a path in the foothills there that leads up to the base. I'll make sure someone greets you there and shows you the way through. Then I'll meet you at the camp on the other side as soon as I can. Thank you, Aloy. I knew running into you would bring good luck. Here, take this. May it help on your own hunt. I'll see you at the camp. Erend, I ran into Talana, and she needs to cross over to the west. Can you meet her in the foothills near Plainsong and show her the way through the base? Talana, out here? Sure, will do. Thanks. Talana seems really worried about her friend. I should look for her at the Osram camp when I'm out that way. Also on camp to Laura and I were trying to find should be around here. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find any around here. Glad to see you made it. 
Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Asura knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragger. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thornmarsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. Thanks, Robert. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Thorn Marsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amadis, really? We met out in the wilds, after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine that was threatening a nearby village. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth, told me how... The Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but... Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was alright, but... his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do... I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield, but when he learned that the Tanakhs took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on then. Do you think Nessa might still be alive? 
I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Over here, you flaming hunk of scrap! That's him! Fire has right on his heels. I got my chance! Come on! God. We've got your back! Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Asaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind this, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be a modest. And you must be Aloy. Talana's told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot. But what are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Well, we're here now, so let's head to the Rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The Rot's not far. The Rot's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. How did you find it? I overheard a Tanuk patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? I only need to question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well, now you have us. We're getting close. There it is. The Rot. Those are Agal's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. Then they would have killed any of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Even after all this time? Aloy can see much more than you or I. And let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water. you open the gate, we'll be right at your side.
to the main gate to let Talana and Amadis in. What's the word? Any chance of a break? Yeah, that moved. Ah! Door's locked. Gonna have to find the key. But I should let Talana and Amadis go first. Gate open for Talana and Amadis. Outlanders. That device is going to call a machine.
it. I think that's the end of it. Hey, is anyone out there? Hear that? Here. Door's locked, but that last rebel had a key on it. Freed by Karja? Have we not been humiliated enough? It's not their fault you were locked up in your own prison. I'm looking for information about a Karja soldier. She might have been a prisoner here five years back. Her name was Nessa. The Karja Nessa was here. I killed her myself. Nessa? I'll handle this. Go secure the grounds. It's you, isn't it? Nessa, how? It's Why? Rataka. Uh, let me get this straight. You were Nessa. You were brought here as a prisoner during the Red Raids, and then became Tanakh? The Karja forbid women from military service. I lived my life pretending, ashamed of who I really was. But the Tanakh measure a soldier only by their strength and resolve. So I took my place among them. Ness... Rataka, I've mourned you for five years. Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I had a new life. I wasn't going back. Not even for you, Amadis. What will you do now? You've taken back the rot. My squad will ensure it stays that way. So this is it? After everything we've been through, this is goodbye? It has to be. My place will always be here. And yours is back east. I'm sorry that you've suffered. You deserve better than how the last five years have treated you. I'll make sure you're granted safe passage out of the lowland. Consider it Nessa's final farewell. At least now you know the truth. Somehow it hurts worse. You must think I'm an idiot. No. I just think you have a lot to figure out. I'll take you back east to the Sendim. After that... I don't know. Talana, I... understand. I'm sorry it came to this. Me too. Give me an Aloy a moment. Are you alright? To be honest... no. What's going to happen between you two? I'm not sure. He clearly has a lot more feelings to sort through. And I won't be anyone's second choice. I want you to have this. For seeing this through with me. No hawk could ask for a better thrush. Or a better friend. So, I guess this is it then. You're heading back east. I think I'll hang around Baron Light for a while, before returning to Meridian. If you find yourself back that way, Look for me there. I will. Safe travels, Talana. Maybe I should check in with her the next time I'm at Baron Light. Seems like she could use a shoulder to lean on. Ha <laughs> ha.
Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them. We'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, Fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. Can't Plainsong help? Plainsong has abandoned all settlements this far out. Then why not just leave? They're clearly outnumbered and under-equipped. You could leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands, as do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground, and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. You just woke up, didn't you? <laughs> you should stay away, visitor. The air is rife with lightning. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. Fine. Maybe 
sure there's a way through the caves back here. Find those white moths. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Key needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. Quiet enough. I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. here with these. Thank <laughs> you. 
Going down. Should do it. Better get back to queue with these. Refreshing. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? When this is over, I'll make sure we find his seeds and plant them in the grove. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be.
I guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. To... What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seeds she carried deserve to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. did stop pouring out of the sacred cave after Zoe and her companions went inside. Why do...
Now to look for Colonel's seat pouch. I better start at the bridge. Footprints. Bree said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. It looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. There must have been another path up. I guess Kalai and the search party climbed the cliff instead. Utaru trailhead. Looks like this is where the rite of discovery started. Debris on the trail. Oh, it looks like pieces of the bridge. Looks like this fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm. A lot of the trail's broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up too. She must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. I was playing song. Just like the first Utaru saw it. Flowers. Ground into a dye. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalia was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but... My focus can pick it up. This must be part of the rite of discovery. All of the marks look old. I must not have gotten to this part. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge.
die trail ends here with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Branches were snapped off recently from some kind of struggle. And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. Two bodies? One must be Kalai, but who's the other woman? marks on her neck. She was strangled. At least I can return her seat pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Killer seat pouch. Might help identify her. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plain Song will know who the seat pouch belongs to. We all lament Kalei's death, but perhaps... That's Kalei's. You found it. Bree. Kalei didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalei and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her. While she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seat pouch. It belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer wind. She's running away? She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you.
be summer wind. But where is Kel? Aloy, it's Kotalo. It seems the Sky Clan's troubles didn't end with Takote's crumbling pride. I've heard some in the bulwark. They need help. Who better than the one who flew on the wings of the Ten? I'll check in on them when I can. I'd appreciate it. So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? It was a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. I found Kali's seed pouch. Her seeds will be planted in plain song and remembered. But yours? Yours will never be sown. Someone will. <laughs> no, Kel. No one will. No! She needed to stand trial! Kalai deserves justice. Burn her seeds. People should remember Kalai, not the woman who had her killed. It isn't much, but I want you to have this as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. You return. Now let us make a Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. What's going on? <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with hair like blood. The outlander that took down the bulwark. You bested Regala. Killed her champion Greta, too. Both of them were our clan. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. 
Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll go with you. Very well. We leave for the Southeast Canyon. May the Ten protect you, then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. You do that. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. And Jataka has the stones to tell me. The commander has good reason to be strict with our water nice. supply. You think she doesn't? I think she's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? No. I bet they dip their hand in the trough whenever they want. Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to scrape by. To fight, tooth and nail, to survive. And I'm guessing that's... Hey. Where are you off to? Depends on this way. And here I thought you'd abandon me. We still have machine parts to harvest. You were saying something before you left? And I'm guessing that someone is you? I've lived in the fringes of the desert my entire life. I've fought for every single mouthful of water I've ever had. I know I'm a better fighter. And I'm prettier. Uh-huh. I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need, no matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go to begin with? I'm sure I'll be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. I guess that's a good way to look at things. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. There! Get some more ammo. Follow me. You'll uh, have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon. You're uh, welcome to any supplies you can find. Might need them for the fight ahead. Thanks. There we go. 
Let's move out. So, what's Anora looking for out in the Forbidden West? Who says I'm looking for something? I doubt you traveled all the way out here just for the scenery. I'm trying to fix something. I see. All right, you can keep your secrets. Guess I should just be thankful you decide my problems are worth fixing, too. We're here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. Hold on to any hearts you loot and I'll take them from you later. Frost won't help here. The machine was born for the cold. Harvest the machine hearts, I'd be grateful. That's all the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah. At least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines... I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged, too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. <laughs> Tell 
To think, so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander with Scalding Spear? <sighs> well, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, nice wouldn't mind having it's... yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, you can't blame me for trying. This is it. Where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Someone's alive. By the rocks. Speak sense, soldier. Burrowers. Time for a scrap. Underjaw's back. This is gonna get rough. I'll do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh... I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. Returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to the Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? I heard what you did at the Grove. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan. But our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can.
Good. The entire clan might depend on it. Why would the wound give less water? These rations barely get us through the day, Commander. Here I come. Our children are thirsty. Make way for Aloy. Ally of the Tanakh. Please. Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water! The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert! What's stopping us from taking what we want and ever? <clears throat> Anyone else want to complain? We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. She's with me. Draka's not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. I was glad to hear you put an end to Regala's rebellion. Even if some of her followers refuse to accept her defeat, the clan lands never seem to run out of problems. Want to tell me which one we're dealing with now? You'll find out soon enough. So... This is the Outlander that bested Regala. Flying on the wings of the tent. And now, for some reason, she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander, either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the old ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive is completely dry. I can't promise anything. But if this wound was built by the Old Ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. You're not Karja. We're Oseron. I was born amongst the Nora. As far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. 
What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. Machines. I can see why Draka wanted your help in gutting his machines. Thanks. Where to now? Your wound has veins that spread underneath the sand. I'm just following their trail. Not to another machine ambush, I hope. Believe it or not, I have better things to do than try to kill you. Those flowers. The crown's wet, too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. It looks like the metal from the wound. We really are following its trail. As I've been saying, the desert kills, but it also supports. I should check where the pipes are headed with my focus. Very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Fall in need.
water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. Which means it's coming from something else. Let's have a look. now. Good, you're back. I need to climb this and find out where this water is coming from. These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been heading back to wherever he came from when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. Put the screen shine off carefully. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like that dead soldier tried to pry this open. But he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or... Ignorance. I don't think this is going to do anything. Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. What do you need me to do? Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. A valve. That might help. Hey! It stopped leaking. It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. Open the valve upstairs. Get that water stuck. Ah! Not getting up through there. Sounds like that did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? 
Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan worked. That should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. That fallen soldier. Come with me. I want to look upon the face of the coward who did this to our people. You know him? It's one of Draka's men. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. Look, we don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to... See soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. But no Yara. What's going on? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. Ridiculous acrobatic. You're one to talk? That doesn't sound good. Alright. It's right in. Watch your tone. It's Karja. Or what? You let these I two kill me? Behind by Marshal Fischer. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it. Or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this! No more words! <laughs> Consider that a challenge! <laughs> Gather your squads, then, and meet us at the Gate of the Vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. 
Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You fly on the wings of the Ten. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. That fight was a sight of all. Wait, you were there? Oh, yeah. My whole. You're their commander. You... You're here. The flame that flies on the wings of the Ten. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it! You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Uh, for once we agree! Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. Becoming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Nice knowing you, Aloy. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Drop. You think you can balance me, child? Thank <laughs> you. 
It's over, Draka. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. Did it have to end like that? It's the way of the desert. <sighs> well, what happens now? We live off the water the wound ekes out, rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now, for all you've done for this clan. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zalka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But Commander Yara is too busy securing her hold over the capital to spare any soldiers. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village, find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. This must be the village Zoka was talking about. It looks like the whole place flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. I wonder if anyone made it out. Let's check around the shore. There are a few survivors on that overlook. I should see if they're okay. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. There. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. 
I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering Ashblood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing. But I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, uh, tell him... Tell him I'm here. I might be able to use my focus to find any survivors. Legend Skulling Spear. Up here. We've got wounded up here. Need an easy way down. And back. Uh, hold on. I'll figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. Focus can help me search. There's fire gleam on those rocks. Igniting it should clear the way for the crane. in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. There we go. Oh, damn it. Arm stuck on something. I better climb up and take a look. Our comrades wounded. We need an easy way to get them down. If I detach those cables, the arms should drop the rest of the way.
can't shoot the cables from here. I need to get closer. This thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear. Blood of the Ten. How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His leg snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. When the mudslide hit, I saw some of the others running towards the metal towers. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. Holding up? I didn't see anyone who looked like Kentaw. Maybe he's with the other survivors. Hey! Outlander! These machines got us trapped up here. We lost our weapons in the mudslap. Sit tight! I'll take care of them. with the boulders. Shoot the support beam. There. Should be safe if it's not now. We're coming down. Everyone okay? Better now, without snap maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. During the storm, I think I saw some of our comrades running toward the metal towers on the west end. They might need a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. Can anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Blood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken one next to it. <sighs> that works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. I should be able to cross over to the survivors from there.
There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? There are more who made it. They're safe now. <laughs> Thank the Ten. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight, for now. Do it. Okay, you should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. Okay, I think that's it for survivors. But I didn't see Ken talk among them. I should head back to Natika. Let her know. We will rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's Guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanabt are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come, I I'll show you. Natika, we need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers posted as lookouts to start. Understood. <laughs> the gouge. Looks like an old line. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe Kim swept in there during the
Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And Natika, she came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out, but it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? But not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fireclaw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. The waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Closer. I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source. Stash. 
Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. This should fall. said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. I just know they meant a lot to you, and, uh, well. Aloy, we're ready to meet you at the rendezvous point whenever you call. Fighting the Zenith isn't going to be easy. Nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. I know there's probably a lot on your mind right now, but I was hoping we could discuss the land gods, if you have the time. Everyone here, if it were, you know, he to be on, so he brought, we, I thought of however, and any, I missed, I know. Ready to head over, whatever. Have you, Aaron, but, Char, how's Aaron, for a but he, I guess that, have you, I could, Var, though, she turned, we, she, had so, you've been, of course, in this, is there a, hmm? are you, you, I liked, I was, oh, that, but, why, he, she, best, what she could be, I see, I, I would, I would, maybe, I think that, you ever strike? I was hoping no, sir. How are slightly apparently called me? You'd think you and Aaron see he may and that it is still try. You look we're going in war, but every it makes fighting if we helps to for a moment. I don't know. What do you I'm not sure last time I, I from what the old like you've maybe that read any I apparently that thought I'd said she's more she You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines? 
get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. About the land gods, what did you want me to do again? We need to kill two Grimhorns and harvest their control cores. I sent their location to your focus. Got it. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So... Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? This is where Zoe said we'd find the Grim Horns she needs parts from to heal Plainsong's land gods. I should let her know I'm here. Hey, Zoe. I'm near the Grim Horn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. The Grim Horns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. Thank you again for helping me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think Fane and the Chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements with them, but there. I'd like to see them be happy to be wrong on this. I think this used to be a Tanakh hunting ground. Okay. You okay? A bit wounded, but I'll be all right. I'll grab the cores. Be my guest. You've got the control cores? I can take them from here. Two control cores as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child, there was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us, and every season we celebrated them. 
My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? We'll make it happen. Thank you, Aloy. So we'll probably sort through those cores in no time. I should check up on her when I get the chance. You need something, Aloy? Oh, before I forget, I'd like to discuss the land gods again, if you have time. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No, we know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay, tell you what. You go to plain song, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, so... I promise. I'll let you know when I've delivered the... Good. When you're under... Oh, hey, Aloy. Now we get. Dead Utaru in the Land God Shrine. So said this one broke down amidst a herd of machines. Better be careful. I guess they were leaving offerings to the Land God. That looks like something fried them. Whatever did it might still be around. There's the land god. But I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code.
resets all of the machines. Time to install this code on that land god. again. Nice and easy. One down, two to go. Zo, be there? I'm here, Aloy. I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting them that I feel thankful. T's festival came in with when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. Best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. A Stormbird got them, but I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure someone retrieves their seed pouches, so they may return to the land. All right then. I'll head to Plain Song and deliver the code to the land gods there.
Reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for What warmth, is she doing to Law? Listening to her sing hey, the Lord, new you beginnings. Made Which is it? When you can, meet me at Plainsong, and we'll send out all the reboot signal. All of the land signal. gods have been updated. I've delivered now the code to, to send all out the, the land gods, signal. save one. Only Law is left. I'm here with her, just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. Zo, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later. And I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. Space lugs down. Alva, I figured I'd find you hanging out where all the data is. Of course! You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it.
Alva said one of the Diviners here might know where the Leviathan Research Facility is. Better go to the campfire and let her know I'm here. Hey, Alva? I'm in Landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy! I'm here. I had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that Diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva! What are you doing back in Landfall? And with the Living Ancestor? We're looking for the At Bay Research Center, where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh... Yes, I stumbled across it, but... There was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't trouble yourself. I, I, I sh assure you, our search was very thorough. Mm, you're hiding something. What? That... that is absurd. A diviner must only speak truth, as you're well aware. Oh, you're worried you found something dangerous. Something compromising on Eileen Sasaki? Keep your voice down. Look, I get it, Nerik. You want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. But think of Leviathan, how it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. The facility's just south of here, along the shore. Even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often the truth is forbidden. Come on, let's go. Not bad with that diviner back there. You've come a long way since we first met. And Nerex like I used to be, terrified of a misstep. And with the Overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the Greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. I'm tired of it. That should be the facility ahead. Well, we need to find a way in. Up here. Well, Nerik wasn't lying about crumbling ruins, at least. Uh, Aloy. Let's look around. Why is the ground shaking? That's not good, whatever it is. Whoa, that, that thing is huge! Take it out if we want to find that thing. Uh, okay. I'm not going to hit the mark. A good choice of weapon. Can you use this? I'll fight if I have to. Tonight. We should be able to look around for that data now. I might be able to kick that vent open. After you. The 
time for a swim. Mm, at least the water's not freezing. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like back when the old ones were here. It's less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's check the upper floors. You okay? On every expedition, the soldiers would lay down walkways and barriers first to protect us diviners. But this is actually kind of fun. There, the console. Must have been what Yurik found. Let's see if it has anything on Leviathan. The data on Leviathan isn't here, but there's some kind of log. Delete the database? But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms, over 400 dead. The data's clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her. The ancestor. Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. And to their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on. So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Quinn seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviners spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Though, now I wonder is how much of it is actually and I have true. to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. I think this is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead.
You doing okay, Alva? Yes. Don't worry about me. get across. Oh, that beam looks promising. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought. That Glenn talks. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by, um, you know, not fall off the tower. Uh, there. No more Glenthawks. I've heard our soldiers say the Glenthawks are the worst. Up this way. Should be able to cross over. That doesn't sound good. But we are going to have to jump. Uh, after you. I'm gonna clear some of that debris first. Okay. Should be able to make it to the other side. Make it. Okay, Alva, your turn. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure Alva makes Aloy, it across before I take a look at this. And make sure I do this right? Come on, Alva. You can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. Ah! Alva! Ah, I'm okay! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. All oh, doors locked. You sure you're okay? I'm fine. Let's keep going. Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Cost production strategy. We're talking about people's here. lives here. I did as you asked on Omuramba, but this is worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad, shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omuramba wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. 
Her office must be higher up. Uh, dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Let's see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. get up higher. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. That's done with. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire beam, the elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! I'll be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. Made it! There you are. Come on. Let's see what's up here. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts... I... I think these were Eileen's. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. And maybe they'll help with the door. Did it! He 
You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office. Impressive view. Corner office. Well, it's official. Eileen Sasaki, CEO. Let's Jared, see if the data on Leviathan is here. And worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors. Statistics. <laughs> Far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water. Improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe... The lie was truth. But I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, uh, took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe, but not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Leviathan... Yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay, I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it. door now. I haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I. Who should be thanking you? All that remains is to follow you to the end. Whatever that will be. We're lucky to have you on our side. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping we could discuss that personal request I mentioned before. If you have the time. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? Gaia mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insisted I could build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believed these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I'll see you soon, then. It will be my honor. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy.
This is where the Zenith Lab is. Cortalo thinks he can find what he needs to build himself an... Hey, Cortalo? I'm at the Zenith Lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. Aloy. I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith Lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood. The lab's up this way. You okay? I got this. Scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Good news. Well, we can sneak past them. Your choice. Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on. The enemy did this? Hard to believe, but yeah. up ahead. We better get a move on. The room we found Beta in is up ahead. Lead the way. Here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database Guy was talking about. Varro mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. There's barely room to breathe. I think I found what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! Fight with honor!
The Zenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. Stuff for the stash. We need to search the entire floor. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea. Event. Might be a way out of this room. Tell me the components are in there. Components have to be here somewhere. I should go back and give these to Catalo. You found the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again? 
Idle thoughts. They can wait until we're back at base. You go on ahead. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the Ten. Are we not meeting you in the wilds? Soon. I just wanted to talk with you first. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where? Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but... I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. Like I said, I'll call you when- May the ten- This is where Kotalo wanted us to test out his. Hey, Kotalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. Fair enough. This is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. It has menaced the valley for some time. Killed more than a few of the Sky Clan. But no longer. I'm honored to help. After you. Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal.
Well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. Machine stores food in its tail. Sure, she's okay. One four two. Supply drop. One four two. Supply drop. All right. Why? The spike is still intact. Rig's still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Oh. Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then please, just don't break anything. Better get climbing. Her credit lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Oh, there's a spike. Might get better reception if I'm next to it. Thank 
Victory. Interesting. Can't seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. This ought to be a good shortcut. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during a, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh... I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? Try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message... Then let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Hmm. Huh. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm, uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Soga. And when you find it, Aloy... I'd be eager to hear what it is. Outlander. Craft of the Tanakh awaits you here. May your enemies fall. Gotta climb up to look for Silga's signal. But where to start? you could talk that would help a lot
climbing to pinpoint that signal. Just up a little higher. Almost there. Okay. Let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. yet. Climbing the mountain where my base is should finish the job. I see you, champion. Sit, please. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. This mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a time to get out of Sam's message. Just gotta look for a path. Good spot to pick up Silga's signal.
This is quite a climb. I have to get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. Looks like I have company. Still need to climb higher. Okay, now to pick up the signal. Where is the best spot? I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silga's message. Start 142 to Enduring Victory Reno. Supply drop beacon echo. Inside. There. Found the signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. that Silga found. I wanted to clear out the machines before I can look for the source. Signal now. See if I can locate the source. Oh, that looks promising. getting in 
that way. I should search for another way in. There you are. Now, how to get to you? I should take a closer look. Right, into the water. Oh, 
There you are. Now, what's inside? Definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message. Stop coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their Past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. I should be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat, to send messages near and far. Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring all the way to who knows where? Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. Turned out well. Can't wait to try it. How about more West? <laughs> that might Are you lost? Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer? I know you. You're that Nora. Ha <laughs> ha! The savior! My savior! Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine delveways. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. 
A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up, shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body, one of your delvers, I guess, but no sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, Maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened, and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. <laughs> My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your Delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand-carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. Knock rebels hold up in an outpost nearby need a beating, Huntress. <laughs> to the Tony Corbett merchant. I need to find his missing expedition. And clear a path back east. The tunnel's blocked. And no sign of the missing expedition. I need to find a way to get further in. Should be able to blow up that fire gleam. And now you're on my spear should be the trick. Still alive in here. In here. So you're real. Thought I was dreaming. What happened to you? A terror in the dark. The world shuddered. A machine? Never got a look. The caravan. <sighs> we all ran. Everything collapsed. Crawled here. Couldn't escape. Did anyone make it out? And find the first caravan? Yes. Someone did. Good. At least... I'm not alone. Easy now. Sounds like something big attacked the missing expedition. I better press on.
Rumors. Rumor of Porgus missing expedition. No point using fire against that. She said they were attacked by some kind of terror. I don't think it was these burners. to clear that rubble with my pocaster. to protect the officer of the city. So we must have entered the canyon from the eastern side. I better take a look.
That wall looks like it came down when the Rockbreaker attacked. It must have trapped the Osra in the canyon. The Ross must have run into the western tunnel. I'm gonna get to the other side. I should be able to blow this up to clear the debris. Hitting those blaze barrels with fire ammo. Should do the trick. The tunnel should be clear now. I better let Porgif know. I'm back in no man's land. Let's see. So, if we add all the days lost to being stuck in camp nowhere, and throw in some hat- You're back! How's that tunnel looking? I found the rest of your crew. One of them was still alive. For a while, anyway. Turns out a rockbreaker attacked them as they were making their way through. Poor Saz. Many roads lead to Adelva's end, but that's got to be one of the worst. Well, I took care of the rockbreaker. The way's clear now. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you could do it. And uh, you didn't happen to find my lockbox now, did you? Sorry, didn't find it. Oh. I see. Well. Not every delve brings back riches, I suppose. Here, your fee as promised. Now that the threat's gone, I'll have the tunnel shored up and cleared out. Then I can send for another crew, get this expedition going proper-like. Ha! Onwards to the delve! Got something you'll want to hear, Red. <laughs> Aloy, oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air, or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Morlin's amazing elevating orb, inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk use for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living, aside from your arrival. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents, one such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy, it's perfect for the orb. But a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? Please? Okay, Moreland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Okay. Okay, head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> You're dead. 
This looks like the place. No borrowers, though. Event. It is hot. And that must be the statue. Okay, find a way up there. There's a crate in that room, but how to get to it? This could be useful. reach the statue.
to get the burner. Uh, huh. Made it. Whoa! Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Burrowers. Might have been the ones that attacked Moreland. What, me? Stop, Mormon's amazing.
You're back! Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Yes! Yes! Thank you. And I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? Care to take to the skies again? This time in proper Osram style. How can I say no to that? What was that? Ah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, oh, give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah. The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violent and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, oh, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. With simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. <laughs> you know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs in forges around the claim. Ah, just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> this feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What is that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Moreland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small setback. Nothing to worry about! I can take this! I can take this! I can take this! I can no! Hey, hey, go away! Go! Shoo! Go. Moreland. He's in danger. I have to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. 
Stuck on the other side. I've got to clear out these machines. Okay, that's the last one. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Aloy, great gears, you're alive. Ah. Uh... Would you mind applying a little leverage? Oh, I can definitely find a use for this. Your sudden and decisive departure was not something I was expecting. No sorry. If this is payback for a suboptimal hey, flight, you all right? I have accepted. Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us. Everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... It's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. Did you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Aloy, would you mind finding a way across? All we need is something to bridge the gap. I think I found us a... <laughs> Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gonna be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me, or really fancied my orb. Aloy, uh, over here, when you have a moment. Steel to my soul. Found it. <laughs> ah, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb, something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. You jest, but keep your eyes open. I'll be flying alongside you yet. And I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland.
I'm telling you, don't throw good- Ah, Red! Just who I need. You know her? Great! Then tell her that going out there is a bad bet. Well, you tell him. He better crank out what he knows before I pummel him in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Della. What's going on? It's my sister, Boomer. She ran off into the desert. We, uh... We had a fight. I told her we'd discuss it in the morning after we both had time to cool off. But when I woke up, she was gone. And Spectacles over here was the only one to see her leave. But he refuses to tell me which way she went. You can't go striking off into the desert. You'll get lost. And if thirst doesn't kill you, the vanishing dread will. You know what happened to the Delvers who went out there last? No, you don't. No one does, because they didn't come back. Well, what about my sister? She's out there all alone. Maybe she's a sunk cost. <laughs> I'm asking you, Red. Help me find her. If Boomer's lost in the desert, I might be able to find her. I'm coming with you. All this is my fault anyway. But you'll die. Where did you last see her? I suppose if you're with her, the odds of survival do go up. I thought I saw her heading towards the metal arches east of here. And that's where we'll start. Let's go. Ignoring me again. What? Some scrap in the sand. Maybe from the arches. Boomer's handiwork? Yeah, but no boomer. Let me search for tracks. There. Tracks. Looks like they lead out into the desert. What were you thinking, Boomer? Do you have any siblings, Red? It's complicated. Uh, tell me about it. It's just... Sometimes she can really greet your gears. And sometimes... Most times... I have no idea what's tinkering in that head of hers. But she's Tracks always got... here, but... I just hope Looks we can like find Boomer her. set out some traps around the ruin. Leave it to Boomer to litter the area with explosives. Where is she? If we get rid of the machines, maybe we'll find out. Take a look in the ruins. Maybe we can figure out where she went. favorite hammer. She always makes a fuss whenever she misplaces it. She'd never leave it behind. Maybe she had to leave in a hurry when the machines moved in. Or something worse happened. Hey, we don't know that. Let's look around. She might have left another trail to follow. Hold on, Boomer. We're coming.
Can you pick up any tracks? There. Looks like she headed towards the hills. Well, let's go. There's some kind of wreck up on that cliff. How did Boomer get up there? Uh, broken ladder. Must have collapsed as Boomer was climbing. So how are we gonna get up there? This way. Right. Scaling a big old cliff. What was this place? I don't know, but it looks abandoned. A shelter and some kind of device. From Boomer? Looks like some of the components were stripped. She must have brought it up here to tinker after the machines moved into her camp back at the ruin. But where could she have gone from here? That wreck down there looks promising. Well, if there's one thing I know about Boomer, is that she can't resist a shiny pile of salvage. Come on, let's go down and check it out. Look there, at the base of the wreck. Tools. But she found another spot to tinker. That's... Yeah, she was working on something here, all right. But where... Oh! Oh! Boomer? Gotta finish this. Boomer! What are you doing? Too late. Boomer, what did you do? I'm Never mind that now. Here they come! See, Boomer! This is exactly what I do! Okay, Boomer, what were you thinking? Those machines could have killed you. Pressure valve, check. Boomer, boom. Okay. Boomer! Hey, Boomer? Yes? Your sister was really worried about you. Look, I know you must still be angry, but you can't run off into the desert like that. I didn't run, and I'm not angry. Y you're not? No, why would I be angry? Be because of our fight, be because you ran away. I didn't run. Well, you left me. I'd never leave you. You're my sister. I had an idea, so I went to find the parts. See? A weapon. This is just the payload carrier. The real secret are the boom disks. Throw one at a machine, slice and dice, and then it comes back until you throw it enough times, and then it goes boom. At least it's supposed to. I can't get it to come back. Uh, here, let me see.
Ah, that's why. Pin here's off. Just needs a little cable around here. Done. Here, Red. Give it a try. No, wait! Try it on the big machine. This way. And there she goes. So you really didn't leave because of our fight? No. But you left camp without telling me. You were sleeping. Why didn't you wake me? You said you didn't want to Where talk Where are you going, the Red? Well, let's wait for her. Well, yeah, but I meant about... <laughs> I didn't mean literally. How did you find your way to that old ruin? I saw it when we left Camp Nowhere. And you remembered how to get there? Yep. So what's this big machine we're after? You'll see. there. Well, there's nothing here. Just watch. Sparks, flying metal, ba-boom! You okay? Ever since we left the claim, I figured I could just hammer it into her head to quit it with the explosions. Everything would be better. And after your fight, you thought you lost her because you were too hard on her. Turns out I was wrong about that, too. She doesn't see the world like I do. Where I see a problem, she sees a way to blast through it. And I guess that's okay. I wouldn't have gotten her back without you, Red. Boomer's lucky to have you. As for the weapon, keep it. As thanks. You ready to head home? I think I just got a new idea for a prototype we can work on. With explosions? Oh, you bet. Yes! What if we buried them in the sand? Boom traps. But then we might blow up everyone, not just the machines. Hmm. What are you two working on? Red! We're making boom plans. Ah, oh, we struck a deal with Abaddon when we got back. Turns out this place is gonna need some security for all those machines out there. And when he heard how Boomer's invention helped you take down the vanishing dread, we convinced him we were right for the job. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna keep the machines away without blowing everyone sky high. Not everyone. The flying ones are already in the sky. Sounds like you both have a lot of work ahead of you. And a place to call home. Home of the Boomworks. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on that name.
perhaps it would be nice to have a word, if you will. Aloy, you defeated Regala. Flew like the ten. <laughs> I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them, then. Yes. Thanks to you, Chief Akaro's hold on the tribe is secure. His vision for the Tanakh endures. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Kavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kavo's squad went. Shall we head out? Let's go. Good. This way. The outpost isn't far. There will be those who won't believe, but I saw it. The next time on the tribe was your great death. May our blade strike as one. You know. The rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. They didn't stand down when Regala was defeated. I doubt they'll surrender now. But what matters is the soldier they took captive, Nikala. She's been their prisoner for some time now. She's my only lead to finding Kavo. We'll get her back. And then Kavo too. The outpost should be just ahead. Wait, I think I cleared this place already. But I didn't see a prisoner. Then the trail's gone cold. Maybe not. Let's go take a look. We might be able to figure out what happened to her. Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. There. That's the post. Well, no Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do they go? Blood. From the rebels or Nikala? Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood.
Take my hand, Nicola. There you go. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplin? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. Falls Edge. Decca should be waiting for me in there. You have shown us the way of courage. There are no legends. Aloy, it is the honor that you have earned. Welcome, Ori. So the machines are ready. Even Outlanders see that Rikala is part of it. I'm telling the truth. Listen to him, Oroke. Not a chance. He's a traitor. Decca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Oroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him. Sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and Blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want, after we stop the attack. If Cavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Cavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there.
walk with honor. Would they be right? Regala didn't stand a chip. The campfire that Cavill mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Someone's waiting ahead. Rebels. Friends of Cavill's. We're gonna have to take them out to get to that campfire. All clear. These rebels waiting to ambush whoever showed up? Cavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, Aroke. Okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. Up this way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. Where is everyone? No rebels, no machine. What did I do? Over there, by the falls. Over there. Over there. Over there.
We did it. You're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning, you saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. I guess... I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Dekka know what happened. Training later. In the name of the tent. Chiefs champion. Hail, the Haro champion. <laughs> Aloy, I saw your deeds at the grove. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke... Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. What's going on here? The Wallbreaker, who flew on the wings of the tent. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten, to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka! Lataka! To your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. 
No slacking, soldier. I'm coming, I'm coming. Judging by these markers, the climbing trail Jekka talked about must be nearby. I should check up on her brother while I'm here. Make an interesting color for my armor. Most to knock look wounded. What happened? Well, Breaker. If you've come to witness the March of the Ten, you're out of luck. Actually, I came looking for someone called Pento. Pento? That poor scab was as good as dead even before the storm hit. You're out of line, soldier. What's he talking about? The kid you're looking for is still up on the mountain, along with two others. Pento was the only one who decided to break tradition and climb without a partner. His odds aren't good. I'm sorry to say they never were to begin with. As far as being Tanak goes, he's got most of it backwards. So what, you're all just waiting here? Shouldn't you be calling for help? Couldn't find anyone in that storm, even if we wanted to. Those kids are at the mercy of the mountain now. We'll see about that. But first, a couple of questions. I could try following the path up the mountain. See if I can find Penta. You said there were two other climbers missing as well? Just one. The other is right there. Zika! Rocco and I, we were climbing back down. There was an avalanche where we got separated. I couldn't see anything. Someone's gotta go up there. You can barely see your own feet in that storm. Except I don't need to. I'll be back. Are you wounded? If the storm gets too rough, I can always use my focus to find those climbers. I should follow the markers. They'll lead me to the start. I'm on the right track. You want some of this? Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. That's not me, tough. Where are you? Thanks for the. You have my thanks. You okay? Not really, but I'll live. Your climbing partner, she said you got separated during an avalanche? My partner? Yeah, the avalanche caught us off guard. Swept me up like a twig. I was sure I was a goner. Then someone grabbed hold of me and pulled me out. It was Penta. He risked his life for me. Did you see where he went? Up that cliff behind you. Said he was gonna finish the climb. I told him it was suicide, but he wouldn't listen. Can you make it back down on your own? Yes. You're not going after him, are you? Go. 
Get back to Wakata before the storm gets any worse. May the Ten be with you. I have to find Pento before he gets himself killed. Use my focus to pick up Pinto's trail. Those must be Pinto's tracks. Let's hope I can catch up to him. It looks like the avalanche destroyed most of the climbing path. The missing soldier must have climbed up this way. Pinto made it past here. The path must have collapsed after him. Maybe I can glide across. to get past this trench. I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. I can feel this frost down to my bones.
I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. I should try gliding over to the other side of that trench. Let's hope that's Pento. Should be able to pick up Pento's tracks again. Got him. Looks like Pento climbed this cliff. But the mountain is unstable. I don't think I'll be able to go up the same way he did. I bet my pole caster could help me get up there. See my stash later.
looks like he could use some help. Penta? Do I know you? Wakata sent me. We need to get off this mountain, now. No. I'm not going back there as a failure. I am getting that flower no matter what. Look, I know what it's like when your tribe looks down on you, but you- Then you understand why I'm either gonna get to the top of this mountain or die on it. Thank you. What are you doing? This climb is meant to be done by two people, right? I'll be your partner. I'll follow your lead. Hey, better take this. Looks like the trail carries on here. You know my name, but I don't think I've caught yours. It's Aloy. You sure you want to involve yourself with the Bulwark's biggest loser, Aloy? I like to make my own judgments I'll about people. You know, it's not like every- What was that? That's some climbing gear you've got. Thanks. It's time to start climbing. That doesn't sound like any storm wind I've ever heard. Almost there. This is it. I can't believe we actually made it. Let's get to that summit then. Way, Aloy. Wait up. This is it. Storm. It's easing up. So, how does it feel to make rank? Pretty great, actually. This... This means everything to me. You know, even if you go back with that, it doesn't mean they'll treat you any different. Honestly, I think... I just need to prove to myself I could do this. You should go back. Let the others know I'm okay. I'd like to take a moment, if you don't mind. I'll be right behind you. Of course. Thank you. I can probably reach the bottom of the trail faster if I use my shield wing. And get a nice view, too. So peaceful. 
peaceful now that the storm has passed. I should be reaching the bottom of the trail soon. Pento can't be far behind. There's everyone. Did you find Penta, Outlander? He got himself killed, didn't he? Don't say that. Aloy, you return alone. Where is he? He's my brother. You can't go crying like that, Jekka. You're the sister of a proper soldier now. Bento! Ow! I bring you the blood crest as proof of my march. And with my blessing, you join our ranks. May you find your path on the wings of the ten. You've got to be kidding me! Him? A soldier? Please. Flower or no flower, we all know all he'll ever be good for is cleaning everyone's sh- <laughs> I think we're done here. Better put some snow on that, or it'll bruise. Thanks for saving my life. Maybe when I get my old soldier's mark, we can fight in the same squad. Give me a chance to return the favor. He's cute. Go on, I'll catch up. Here, something to commemorate our climb. May the Ten always grant you victory, Aloy. I'll see you around, Pento. What's going on here? You're her. The one from the embassy. Please, you have to go after my father. He's going to get himself killed in the stand of the Sentinels. The forest beyond the village. Everyone else seems to have forgotten that we don't abandon our own. Venera? <sighs> if you're gonna drag the Outlander into this, at least tell her the whole story. Garoka gave her that stab wound. It was an accident. How did your father accidentally stab you? For a while now, he's been sneaking out of the village to hunt alone in the stand. Sometimes he's gone for days. So this time, I followed him to his hunting camp, tried to convince him to come home. Words led to fists, and somewhere in the middle of it all, his knife. He was already gone when I fell. You would have bled to death had I not come looking for you. It doesn't make any sense. The way he looked at me. It was like I was a stranger. Perhaps it's time to recognize... He's fine! He has to be. I can't make any promises, but I'll find him if I can. At least to see if he's all right. Where's his hunting camp? Southeast of here. Thank you. Glad that's settled. Now you need to rest. Amira said her father's hunting camp should be near here. The 
hunting camp. This must be where Fenira confronted her father. I might be able to pick up his trail with my focus. A jar of oil knocked over. Blood. Let's see where this leads. Lost Rider. And a lot of traps. I keep a trap. That must be Gorba. I better help him. Thanks for the assist, Huntress. Come. Let's speak. You fight like you're a Tanakh, but you're not one of us. State your name, Outlander. I'm Aloy. You must be Garoka. Venera asked me to find you. She's back in the village. She's recovering from a wound from your fight. Then she's in good hands. Come. We have to get moving. There's a squad deeper in the forest. They're about to walk into an ambush. By who? Rebels? That's what you want to call them. Spineless scabs. All the same, I could use your spear. What do you say? Fine. Where is the squad? This way. We'll make faster time if we cut through the Sentinels. How do you know about the attack? We've been watching enemy movements in the mountain pass. They've been trying to take our territory for years. This is just their latest attempt. Years? Rakala's rebellion isn't that old. Something's off here. Ambush! Skyclad has found us! What? No! Not them! Stalkers! I was so sure they were... Never mind. We have to get to the squad. Kaloka's definitely not all there. This isn't looking good. Quiet now. We're almost there. J Squad, we're. What? No! An old memorial for fallen soldiers. I think we're a lot more than too late. Garoka. Who are you, Outlander? How do you know my name? I'm Aloy. Fenira asked me to find you. I'm guessing you don't remember what happened. I went away again, didn't I? Why are we here? You told me there was a squad. I was about to be attacked. This is where it happened, isn't it? A long time ago. Yes. My squad. The Sky Clan ambushed us, slaughtered them all. It would have been... 30 years ago now. Fenira thinks you've been sneaking off into the forest to hunt. But you've been coming back here. There's no easy way to say this, Garoka. She's hurt. Bad. She tried to stop you from leaving. I hurt her? But I would never... No. Everything is... A fog. I feel like I've been wandering through it. Lost. My blade unfamiliar in my hand. And when it finally clears, I can't remember what I was doing or why. I'm always just alone in the forest.
We should head back to the village. Wait. The memorial. It's missing a piece there. A marker of metal, made from the blades of my fallen comrades. Where is it? It has to be around here somewhere. I have to find it. I know it's... I know it's here. Hey, calm down. Let me take a look. Okay. Tracks. Leading away from the memorial. Lead the way. Clamber jaws. They might have scrapped the marker. Filthy scavengers. On your lead. More clamor jaws. Find the marker. Might be in one of the Clamberjaw scrap piles. I'll stand watch in case the machine show up. No marker here. I better check another scrap pile. The marker. Now to give this back to Goroka. Here. I think this is the missing marker. Yes, that's it. I'll return it to the memorial. You go on ahead. I want to spend some time to remember my comrades. Are you sure? I'll be fine. The fog is gone for now. All right. I'll head back to the village and let Fenira know you're okay. Thank you, Eli. Well, at least I can tell Fenira why Garoka's been running off. Back to Tide's Reach, then. You're back. But where's my father? It's okay. I found him. 
He's not deranged, Fenira. He's been forgetting things more and more. He thought he was still in the clan wars, that he could save his squad from an ambush. When we got to the memorial, he came back to the present. So it's like he's been lost in a fog. Wait. I've heard of something similar, a rare occurrence among chaplains. Their memory fades with the long years. Garoka's not a chaplain, but he is the age of one. Before Hikaru became chief, few of us would live to be so old. So that's why. Oh, thank the Ten. If he was found to be insane, then by rights he'd be put to death. What? No, he's just getting old. He needs care, not a death sentence. Pretty sure the rest of the village sees that as one and the same. But we'll keep a close eye on him. Speaking of, where is he now? Here. Oh, little spear. I... I'm so sorry. It's all right, Father. You're home safe. <laughs> and I understand now. When the fog comes, I'll hold your hand tight and remember for you. You don't have to be afraid. Thank you for all your help. Please, accept this. Your deeds here, what you've done for Fenira, will always, always be remembered. Thank you, Aloy. Aloy? Yes, Aloy. Is she sick? It's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zala's mother. <sighs> they failed to report back. I think I might have been to the source, but I didn't see a squad there. Hikaru told me how you challenged Regala. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? Let's head out. We'll start at the mouth of the Red River. This way. For months, I've watched as the strongest warrior and the smallest child alike fell ill from the blood choke. When the other rivers cleared, it seemed like the tide had finally turned. I see those hopes dashed. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We must. There's the mouth of the river. We follow it upstream, we find the source of the poison. 
and hopefully the squad. I'll follow your lead. Machine was taken down recently. Whoever brought down this machine was precise. Must have been the missing squad. They struck true as the ten. Those machines couldn't have been brought down easily. And there's blood. Someone barely walked away from this fight. The squad must have pushed on. Let's go up the river. Sounds like fighting. The squad could be in trouble. Tanakh soldiers. That's the squad. We have to bring those machines down. Backup to right. Squad, gather round. Aloy, good fighting. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala, even defeated her influence remains. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then, we found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. Seemed like they were on patrol. I've been up there. The rebels have a camp. And a big machine. Then we have to root them out. Rest. And then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. It won't be an easy fight up there. Nothing you and I can't handle. You with me? Let's find a way up. On your lead, Aloy. Up this way. It looks like we'll have to climb up the falls. Right through the blood choke. Let's do it. This water smells like rot. Try living with it. Damn filth. All over my hands. Just don't let go. Don't have to tell me twice. Oh, I hope this holds. So many dead machines. How? Okay. Hear 
that? Must be the rebel's machine. Wait! We're exposed. It hasn't seen us. Okay, I think we're clear. Some kind of rebel camp. So many machines. Butchered. There's fresh water coming from those falls. That dam must be blocking it. We'll have to take out the rebels first before we can deal with it. Two against men. All for the lowland. That's the last one. What were the rebels doing here? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the dam. I'll go check it out. It's a machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. Why put it here? My focus might show me more. The Rebels had a large operation here. There must be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I huh. saw some equipment over by the I falls. I pull open part of the dam. Might come in handy later. I saw some equipment on the cliffs near the falls. Maybe we missed something near the device.
Whoever I hit from this thing could do a lot of damage. There's one of these at the Grove, in the arena. To put down machines. It's a message from one of the sons of Prometheus. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. They saw an opportunity and seized it. Come back, Aloy! Machine scrap and broken corruptor components used for overrides. Were the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? I think maybe. Timeless cowards. Poisoning us until we waste away. The dam. Can you break it? I'll take a look. I should scan the dam. Might show me a weak point. There's an explosive sack from the machine inside the dam. One hit could blow the whole thing up. I just need to find a way to expose it. <laughs> There's the sack. It's gonna take a powerful shot to blow it up. And I can't do both at once. The ballista. Hey, Ateka. Can you get up there? Fire a bolt while I hold this thing open? A rebel weapon to destroy a rebel dam. I'm on it. This works. Hold it! Nice flying. Ha ha. We did it. It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thornmarsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. Thor 
Looks like the water's cleared up around here. I should find the Tekka. May you crush your enemies. You and the chief, they you up for a game of strike later? Share the same enemy. Uh, uh, you should know that it's one golden team. You can barely tell where... Aloy! I was just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. Thornmarsh is free of the blood choke. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zella? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> little warrior. I promised you a reward equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. Wherever your travels take you, Aloy, may you always fly on the wings of the Ten. We'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here, for good. The ancestor reborn. <sighs> May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships. They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. Maybe I can help. <laughs> Not unless you can fly. What if I told you I can use one of those sun wings to take me there? You could do that? Why not? She's an ancestor reborn. Anything is possible. The ship lies on an island east of here, past the fleet. All right, then that's where I'll go. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. Having a good day. It's finally changed. Maybe. I'm gonna need a sunwing to make it to this ship of theirs. Machines weak to fire.
is it? This thing took a beating. Not sure it still works. Better take it to Harry and Christia. Maybe they can fix it. Ancestors, you're back. Is that? I'm sorry. <sighs> it's broken. Our last hope. No. There has to be a way to fix it. How? We just need to replace the batteries and the sensor unit. Right, because they're just lying around a jungle for us to find. Wait. The ancient fleet. It might have what we need. What ancient fleet? When we abandoned our ship, we were washed ashore on a beach southwest of here. There were ships built by the ancestors there. Overseer Bohai will never let us go there. He won't risk losing any more navigators. He needs us to guide the fleet home. No one's going home without a working gyro compass. I can get them for you. You'll need to look for a sensor unit. They're usually on a ship's antenna. And batteries. Three of them. They're small, so they might be hard to find. I've got something for that. We put our faith in you once again, Ancestor. No. No, I believe Christy, I said I'd find ancient ships in this area. I should take a look. There. A sunken ship. Maybe it has what Harry and Christy need to fix the gyro compass. Some sort of power source. Must be a battery. Down, two to go. The ship's antenna. Let's hope the sensor unit is still intact. This is the USS Anchorage, hailing anyone who's left. The Medina, the Omaha, and the New Orleans are down, and the swarm just cracked the Harris open like an egg. It seems like their sense of was taken out. They were trying to reach other ships. Guess I should find the batteries now. My focus should pick them up. the underside of the wreck.
ships in the tunnel. Not there. I can at least check the wreckage underneath. Focus picked up coordinates from that transmission I found. There's a shipwreck there. One might have an intact sensor. Well, that ship has an antenna. I dread when you perched on it. I'm gonna have to deal with it before I can look for the sensor of Quen Mead. Should be able to check out that antenna now. Sensor unit. This should be all that Harry and Christia need. It looks like there's one more transmission in here. This is the Hamilton. Anchorage, your transmission has been received. Targeting the lead. I found what you need. <sighs> the 
Thank you. I'll get working on the gyro compass immediately. I'm coming home, Meandra. <sighs> You've done us a great kindness, Aloy. Christia is not the only one with people waiting back home. She'll be able to fix that gyro compass in no time. We'll never be able to thank you enough. But this should be a start. If you need anything, tell Bohai to contact Alva. I'm sure she can help. May the ancestors steer us true. I can't believe we're actually going home. First, we need to put this thing together. Oh, right. Marshall and Vera, with one of the missing to knock. You're not going back in. You need it. Marshall and Vera, I heard you were sent to rescue some Tanakh who went into the valley. I'm guessing you must be one of them. Where are the others? See, they didn't make it. I had to fight off several machines just to get Kanala out. The valley was closed months ago for good reason. Machines have gathered in number as if they're drawn there by something. Not to mention the strange glowing lights off the coast. The valley is cursed. We never should have gone in. A lot of machines in one place. Sounds bad. I better look into it. See if I can put a stop to it. Then I'll come with you. Fight by your side. No. Better let me take a look first. Trust me, it's for the best. I guess if you insist. Once you're in the valley, head for the Great Falls and the cliff south of the Metal Devil. The machines seem attracted to those sites. Got it. Thanks. We'll rest here a while more, then head for the Medic in Falls Edge. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. be able to find it with my focus. Should hit it with frost ammo. See if there's a lure around here. I should head to the cliff, south of the horse. There might be another lure there. I 
think I'm in the area if you were mentioned. There's definitely deadly machines here. If there's a lure nearby, my focus can help me find it. I can pick up an energy cell from the Horus if I fly. Might help deal with the machines. See if I can find a lure. deal with it. All right, how to shut this thing down. Another weird log from the Julius. This one mentions a third lore close by. I better check it out. It looks like I was right. The Zenus left these things here to draw in machines and protect the approach to their base. the lure. I have to take out these machines before I can shut it off. <laughs> wonder if there's another cauldron with override data on that one. Be able to override the lore now. <laughs> One of the missing Tanox. Lander doing all the way out here. Clearing the valley? You must be one of the missing Tanakhs. Everyone thought you were dead. Nearly. Dax and Kanala. Are they. Kanala's alive. Marshal Yvira pulled her out. Speaking of. Aloy! Yvira. Couldn't stay away, could you? And miss my chance to hunt with the champion in the Valley of the Fallen? Never! And I see you found Eva. Now this looks like a fight. You with me, Marshal? My blade is yours! Blood of the Ten! We get to kill these things? What are they?
should override the law nearby. Make sure no more machines are drawn here. Gotcha. That should be the last one. And looks like there's a recording here. Hey, shithead. I got a task for you. The Julius is ready to serve! Shut up and do what you're told. Use the indigenous robots to keep this place clear of local vermin. I'd do it myself, but Gerard says I have to stay focused, so have some fun for the both of us, huh? Will do, Benefactor Visser. You can count on the Julius. So Eric left us with the AI in charge of the ring. Looks like it shut itself down when I overrode the last one. Well, I should let Avira know the valley's clear. I'll be right back. She needs a medic, but she'll live. Thanks to you. Gotta say, every time we meet is the best day ever for fighting. That battle was something else. And those weird machines. Do you think there'll be more? No. I figured out what was causing the machines to gather in the valley. And put a stop to it. Oh. Good news for the clan, then. You don't want to fight more of those things, Ivira. They're not like other machines. The masters they answer to see people as... Inconveniences. They'd kill anyone without a second thought. And eventually I'll have to deal with them. The light's offshore. Is that from them? Yeah. It's a kind of shield to protect the island. The machines drawn to this valley were meant to kill anyone who got close. Meaningless slaughter. But definitely something for a champion, not a marshal. Here, take this then. It might help with what lies ahead. Thank you. The valley should be safe enough for a while. But you have to tell the rest of the Tanakh to stay as far away from that island as possible. By the champion's word, I hope our paths cross again, Aloy. <laughs>